Aloha. Okay, one minute to the beginning of the shoot. Are you got to kill the screen? One minute. Oh. Okay. Justin, watch that head room, okay? And then, uh, Michael, we're going to get the 30 in a second. I'll run out of here, and I'll come back after the taping as well. Okay. Uh, Michael, I need to mention, after you finish your message, hang on and just continue to look in the screen. All right, we can fade. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looked nice. And also, too, um, on the first one, let's go all the way through. Okay, we'll go all the way through. Let's go all the way through, just so we have something in the can. The show. Okay. Okay. Kokoski, take one. Hey, Michael, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Five minutes, your cue to start, and uh, all the way through on the first one. Sounds good to me. Okay, 15 seconds. Watch the countdown when it reaches 500. Zero. Zero. Aloha, my name is Michael Allen Kokoski, and I am a candidate for United States Senate on the Libertarian Party ticket. You know, I want you to vote for Mike because we have a very important election. You know, we have a lot of problems in the United States, and Hawaii, you know, we have our share of problems too. But, you know, to the United States uh, of America, to the people here in our country, one of the most important issues, I believe, is the drug war. You know, the drug war is a Horrible, 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 horrible evil. You know, this thing turns our neighbors and our friends into criminals because of the things they choose to eat or drink or otherwise consume. You know, it locks people up forever based upon a legislative determination of guilt because the Congress of Richard Nixon has determined that all the people who eat or consume these certain substances are bad people deserving of punishment. You know, when the Congress decides something like that, they steal from the jury. They rob the jury's ability to determine a crucial element of criminal intent, to determine why on earth someone would sell something like that, or why on earth someone would manufacture or distribute a certain subject or a certain substance. You know, the legislature, uh, they have no right to determine the element of, of, of criminal intent. Uh, that is a, a, a job for, for the jury and the jury alone. And when the Congress determines that, that the, these people are deserving of punishment, uh, they deprive everyone of a jury trial. You know, as I walk through Waikiki where I live, I see homeless people uh, living on sidewalks. Uh, and, 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 you know, I believe this is related to the drug war because these people have been disenfranchised from government. They've been stigmatized and they have been, uh, they've been uh, uh, rejected by society as a large. They have nowhere to go. They, they feel like they don't fit in, like they're not citizens. You know, and we can't just continue to lock up our friends and our neighbors because they have smoked the Pacalolo. I mean, back in the 1970s when this law was enacted, it was a time of war here in the United States. And uh, all the long-haired hippies were uh, real involved in the anti-war uh, uh, movement and demonstrations. And that caused a lot of problem uh, to the Mr. Nixon's administration. And, you know, they couldn't prevent those people from assembling uh, lawfully. And they, they, they weren't able to uh, deny them their, their right to freedom of speech. But uh, they could tell and they noticed that all these people were smoking this stuff and that they shared that stuff with each other. And you know, they said, well, if we can outlaw that stuff, then we're gonna have a way to criminalize all of these people and go ahead and take away their voice from government. We're take away their vote. We're, legal, uh, we're legally or legal easily uh, uh, label them criminals and lock them up in prisons and institutions. You know, they've been doing this since 1971. Well, if we got on our little time machine and went back into the past in 1972, we would find that there's about 30,000 federal prisoners in the prison system. Back in 1972, the United States was doing pretty good. You know, and we only had a, a few thousand uh, prisoners in our prison systems. Today, they've got millions of people locked up, mostly because of this drug war. If you elect Michael Kokoski to the United States Senate, 
I will end that drug war. I will destroy that thing on the floor of the United States Senate. I'll expose it as a legislative bill of attainder. It is a horrible, horrible evil. And you know, once we get rid of the drug war, then we can address the issue of, of all these people, uh, all of these uh, casualties of the drug war that are littering our streets. And we can perhaps welcome these people, these homeless people back into society. We can help them to become registered to vote. We can, we can help them to be integrated. We can welcome them back into society. And you know, I think that's gonna be a lot better than taking sledgehammers and tearing their shopping carts up. And that'd probably be a lot better than ha uh, hoarding them up like cattle and taking them to the place where people want them to go. You know, we can't just incarcerate everyone because the legislature thinks them guilty of something. No, we can't do that. We're entitled to a jury trial here in the United States. And if you vote for Michael Kokoski for United States Senate, I will wreck that house there in the United States Senate and I'll get those unconstitutional laws off the books and let the people go. Please vote for Mike. Aloha. Okay, not too good, eh? Pretty rough. I was moving too much, too. How'd you feel? Is that how you feel? Oh, I stammered. It was horrible. But I did get a little bit of it done. It wasn't maybe it was pretty bad. Well, I'm glad you went all the way through and look at the clock. Right on oh, the, yeah, right I made on it. Button. Yeah, I, I made the button. You know, right on the button. Thanks for glancing over, too. Very um, nonchalantly. You know. Oh, I, I let it run to the corner. Did you f want to do another one? I'm oh, glad certainly. We got one. Yeah. Did you want to do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Okay. I like I, the next, the second one's going to be a lot better. Michael, you know, um, again, your posture. So. Um, okay. Yeah. So when we start, just keep the same posture, um, and uh, as much as possible. It's hard, right? It, it's difficult. I'm going to learn. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stay my hands on my knees, mm -hmm. and I'm going to stay just like this. Yeah. There's a little wiggle room there, but. Uh, but we do want you to sum it up in the, in the start and the ending of, of, your, of, your, of your speech. I'm going to try and do a little bit better this time. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm glad we went all the way through. And, um, you know, now that you decided to do another take, um, then you can have something to review. You okay. I mean? All right. You about ready to start? Ready. Let's do it. All right. Okay, Justin, can we please reset the clock and give us uh, uh, 30 seconds, please? That's perfect. Mahalo. <clears throat> okay, come in. Okay. okay, we're at 30 seconds. 30 seconds to take. Kokoski, take two. We'll be right back. Okay, rock and roll. Seconds, watch the countdown, and when it reaches 500, you may begin. Aloha, my name is Michael Allen Kokoski, and I am a candidate for United States Senate. I am a Libertarian Party member, and I want your vote on Election Day. You know, we have problems in the United States, and we have problems in paradise, too. Our island home is beautiful and lovely and kind, and, and there's so many people from all over the world that visit us every year, and every day, and every week. It's a beautiful, friendly place to live. But you know, there are problems in paradise. We have homelessness. We have huge congestions on our freeways and highways and roads. God, what a terrible mess. And uh, we have the high cost of shipping to the island to receive all the goods that, uh, that, that we have find in our stores. And we also have this thing called the drug war. Well, you know, you look at the problems that we have and you, you look at these as separate issues. But you know what? In my mind, it's all the same issue. And I want you to know that the problem with the United States of America, the problems that we're having can be directly related to the drug war. Now, I want you to understand that I've served time in federal prison. I did. I, I, I sold LSD at a Grateful Dead show along the way to people I met at the concert when I was a child, when I was much younger. You know, I, I made some mistakes, and I want you to understand that 
I am not here to promote drug use in any way, but I am here to promote freedom and liberty and righteousness and justice. You know what? It is a crime to lock up people based upon what they choose to eat. That is improper. It is immoral and it's wrong. The Uniform Controlled Substance Act of 1971 was passed by the Congress of Richard Nixon. It was designed to quiet and stifle the Vietnam War protesters of that era. You know, they couldn't prevent those people from speaking to the public. They couldn't prevent those people from peaceably assembling through conventional lawful means. So they looked about the substances that they were consuming. And they found a way to criminalize these people because they spoke the Pacalolo. You know, they said, we can criminalize them for that and disenfranchise them from government and lock them up as prisoners. And you know, we'll just take away their voice, we'll take away all their rights, and we'll throw them in jail just like a bunch of criminals. Well, you know, so many years later, 1971, what is that, 40 some years later, well, today we've got some big problems in the United States. Our prisons are so full of people. It is so overcrowded. The prison system has gone from 30,000 people to over 2 million people. It is horrible. And look at all the thousands and hundreds of thousands of people who are homeless with no place to go, nothing to do. They feel like they have no place in society at all. Where I live in Waikiki, I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a very nice place, to have very good friends and the support of the community where I live. We have a, a, a great life here on the islands. But you know, when I walk through Waikiki, I see people littered along the street sleeping, you know, uh, with no place to go. And then I see on the television and reading the newspaper about how uh, the politicians, how they want to take and lock these people up. They want to herd them up like cattle. They want to ship them here and ship them there. And all the different things they want to do to these folks. Well, I want you to know that is a direct result of the drug war. If you elect Michael Kokoski to the United States Senate, I will destroy the drug war and I will set all those people free. And I will work with the people here in Hawaii and other legislators and the state and federal level to welcome and reintegrate these people back into society. That way they can register to vote. They can feel at home and welcome again in their own communities. You know, we can remove the stigmatism that's been placed upon them and reclaim these people back into the community. If you vote for Michael Kokoski, I will represent the people of Hawaii with my last breath of life. I will certainly stand up to defend your rights and freedoms and liberties because I love you, I really do. And I know that what's wrong with the United States government, it's that drug war. It affects the integrity of the United States and it affects all of our communities. It overloads our prison systems. It puts such a drain, such a drain on all of our systems of government that we rely upon to have an ordered society. If you vote for Michael Kokoski, I'll put an end to that nonsense and I'll let all those people free. And I will promote commerce. I'll get rid of the Jones Act. That's a horrible thing for Hawaii. We should at least have an exemption for that. There's a lot of things that I can do to help the people of Hawaii. But what's important is that you make it to the election and you cast your vote for Michael Kokoski. Thank you. That's a little better. Okay. A little better? Michael, I, I think um, having multiples is, is kind of good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like the multiple thing. I got the timing down. That's yeah, the most important sure. thing in life. But, I, mean, but I still stammered a little bit. Well, so you're human? Ah, that's <laughs> right. Don't tell. <laughs> Here's the thing, okay? It is kind of cutting kind of close. There's two seconds, right? Okay. So we can find that frames. It's frames, right? We can find the frames to get it to five minutes. I don't foresee a problem on that one. Okay. The first one probably is crap. We are literal in the five minutes, you know, just to let you know. So if there okay. is, a, is a second to shave, we will ask you, do you want to take it from the Aloha or do you want to take it from the vote, Michael Kukowski? So, okay. Um, you're hitting it right on the button. I don't think that that's a problem at all. And maybe the third time be a charm. Let's hit it on the head. head. Yeah. All right. How about this? Mm-hmm. Then I can take off these clothes and probably put on my shorts and my flip-flops again. <laughs> right on.
Yeah, a lot of people do that actually. They wear shorts and flip flops and they don't have a suit and tie up top. Ah, I'm ready to go. Yeah. I don't own a tie right now though. I got one somewhere on the mainland, one of them houses somewhere maybe, but <laughs> I don't think it made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, sounds great. Um, Justin, if we could reset the clock and if you can give us a 30. Kokoski, take three. We'll be right back, Michael. Okay, brother. Okay, 15 seconds. Watch the countdown. When it reaches 5 0 0, you may begin. Aloha, my name is Michael Allen Kokoski and I'm a candidate for United States Senate. I'm a libertarian. You know, I stand for things that are right. I've had some problems in my life, I guess we all have, but we're going to take a moment and I'm going to introduce myself to, to, to the audience here in Hawaii and I'm going to let you know some of the things that are important to Michael Kokoski as a candidate. You know, I was born in Dayton, Ohio. I grew up, I have a, a great family and a good set of friends back home. I grew up in, in, the, in the heartland in Dayton, Ohio. And, uh, you know, I experienced the 1970s, the 1980s, and the 1990s, right along with all my peers. But somewhere along the way, you know, in the laughing and the partying and the, and the riding around all over the United States, and the working and the living, you know, I, I, I used drugs when I was in high school. And I smoked marijuana, I sure did. And, you know, I partied a, an awful lot when I was a lot younger. And I got in trouble. I sold LSD at a Grateful Dead show. And I was severely punished for that. I spent 20 years in federal prison uh, due to the drug war. You know, I have seen the evils of the drug war up close and personal. You know, I believe that I understand how the federal government works. I have seen firsthand the horrible atrocities of that drug war. And you may ask yourself, what does this have to do with Hawaii? What does this have to do with the election? Well, I'm going to clue you in. I'm going to give you an idea of what's really going on here. The United States government, back in 1971, under Richard Nixon, they looked at the Vietnam War protesters, and they said, you know, we need to, we need to shut those people up. But the administration of Mr. Nixon, they had problems. They didn't know how to stop these people from speaking. You know, they had all assembled together. They were protesting the government. They wanted an immediate end to the Vietnam War. And uh, they were talking about overthrowing the, 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 the government to achieve those ends. Well, those legislators, uh, they got together and they noticed that all these people were smoking something. And they thought, well, you know, if we can outlaw what they're smoking, we can go ahead and criminalize all these people. We can disenfranchise them from government and we can throw them into prison. Then their voice will not be heard and they will be shut up. Well, you know, they did that in 1971 and the federal prison system went from having 30,000 prisoners to over 2 million prisoners today. You know, they have locked up hundreds of thousands and millions of American people just because the legislator think that they're guilty of conduct deserving of punishment, merely because they ate or drank something that offended the Congress of Richard Nixon. You know, now, how does this affect us here in Hawaii? Well, when people are disenfranchised from government, when they're stigmatized in the eyes of the public, and they're separated from their families and loved ones, they have no place in society. And when we walk through Waikiki and see them sleeping on the sidewalks, that's what happened. If you want to deal with the homeless problem here in Hawaii, the first thing to do is put an end to the nonsense of the drug war and then welcome these people back into the society and back into the community so that they can begin to participate again and feel that they're welcome. You know, I've been in Hawaii here for, for, for a couple years now. I was released from federal prison back in 2012. I worked as a hospitality worker in Waikiki. And during that time, and during my time on the island, 
I've noticed that two things are very important to the people of Hawaii, hospitality and security. You know, with the drug war, there is no hospitality. There's only slavery and imprisonment. And you know, and it's injustice. It affects the integrity of the United States. If you vote for Michael Kokoski for United States Senate, I will do everything in my power to destroy the Uniform Controlled Substance Act and put an end to the drug war. I'll do all I can to reintegrate these people back into society and lift them up off of the sidewalks so that they can be human beings again and accepted into our communities as equal members of society. If you vote for Michael Allen Kokoski, I will listen to the needs of the voters in Hawaii and I will make choices that are best for the people of Hawaii based upon the peoples of Hawaii's needs and their wants and desires and the things that they express to me. You know, I have traditional Christian values and I love you. If you vote for Mike, I'll do my best to serve you in the Senate of the United States of America and no one will buy me. Aloha. That was kind of radically different. That was a little different. I need to kind of like, uh, let's do one more and I'll put it together and I'll, I'll, I'll try not to ramble on. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want uh, more water? No, no, I'm okay. All right. You ready to go like right now? Yeah, right, right away. Let's do it. So, Justin, if you can reset. Thank you. And uh, you let us know uh, if we can have 30. Okay, I'm going to kind of hang loose this rip. My position seem okay on the monitor and stuff? You know, they're all definitely usable takes. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting when you view it. Okay, 30 okay. seconds. So take 30 seconds. Okay. Kokoski, take four. Michael, be right back. Okay, 15 seconds, watch the countdown. When it reaches 500, you may begin. Aloha, my name is Michael Allen Kokoski and I'm a candidate for United States Senate on the Libertarian Party ticket. The reason I'm running for United States Senate is to destroy the drug law and to help the people of Hawaii in matters of education, in matters of transportation, and in matters of hospitality and security. You know, I was once upon a time a federal prisoner. You know, I was a victim of the, of the drug war. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I smoked marijuana. I certainly did. And, uh, you know, I, I never seen any harm in that. You know, I, I never really did pay attention to all those federal statutes and rules and laws and things because, you know, gee, uh, I, I really never did know that they existed. You know, you hear about things like that, but you really don't know what they mean until they come at you and they take you and they put you into a prison and they lock you up for 20, 20 years. You know, I, I've spent a day in prison for every year of human history, I certainly have, due to the drug war. You know, I do not advocate drug use at all. Drugs are dangerous. You know, they, they, they probably shouldn't be taken recreationally. But if they are, and when they are, uh, it, it does absolutely no good to criminalize a man because of what he ate. That is so absurd. But, you know, that's the case, and that's what's going on here in the United States. You know, a lot of people in Hawaii, they, they, they want to do something with the homeless people. They want to take and lock them up and send them away or cart them off or send them somewhere else just to get rid of them like trash. You know, you're asking yourself, what does this have to do with the drug war? Well, you know what? When you criminalize people because of what they eat and you throw them into prison as a criminal, you stigmatize them from society and you cast them out like rubbish on the street. The thing is, though, these are people. They're not things. They're not animals. They're human beings. And when you put them out on a curb, they don't have anywhere to go. They're not welcome in society. 
They're not welcome in the community. They stay on the sidewalk. You know what? If you elect Michael Kokoski to the United States Congress, to the Senate, I will destroy the drug war, and I will welcome those people back into the community. I will offer them a voice in the United States Senate, and I will offer them and make it possible for them to come back into the communities, that, uh, to have representation in government, to have a voice, you know. There's millions of people locked up in these prisons like sardines. None of the other candidates have a clue what's going on in those prison systems or in those courtrooms. I don't even think they care. That's something that they don't want you to look at. Just like the homeless people in Waikiki that we see all day long. They want to put them somewhere. If it was up to them, I'm sure they'd round them up and take them to the houses and you'd never see them again, right? just like they've done to all of us on this drug war thing. You know, I think these two issues are very important. I think these two issues are actually one. I think that the homeless problem is a direct result of the drug war. And if you put an end to the nonsense of the drug war and you welcome the homeless people back into society, get them registered to vote. Uh, give them a chance to get a job. Give them a little self-respect then I believe that we'll be able to lift these people back off the sidewalks without destroying their shopping carts in the public eye and without rounding them up and putting them in jails uh, and, and sending squad cars and paddy wagons to, to haul them off to the, to, to the hooskow. No, that's not the right approach at all. The right approach is to solve the problem. That is a bad piece of legislation. The Congress of the United States has no right to put people in prison because of what they choose to eat. And that's what that drug war does. If you elect Michael Kokoski to the United States Senate, I will fight that drug war with every breath I have. And I will fight fascism in the United States government. I will expose unlawful acts of Congress on the floor of the United States Senate. And I will represent the people of the Hawaii to the best of my ability. God bless you and mahalo. Vote for Mike. I guess it was a huge mistake not to really prepare something from rot. You even have some handle there on that one. Huh? You even have some handle there on that oh, one. Oh, on the time left. The handle. Right. I got the handle on it. A little handle there. So, um, both of them, both sides. Well, they're all different no matter what, right? Okay. So, so you have four. One more. You want to do another one? Yeah, I want to do another one. Okay. I still ain't hit it right. Maybe five be it. Okay. If you can suffer me for a moment, I can get him done. Fine, Michael. Okay. okay. We have time for another. God uh, bless you. Uh, Justin, can you please reset and um, reset the countdown clock and, and give us a 30 when you're ready? Okay. You want? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. And we'll get a little drink of water and we're split. Yeah. Yeah. Cool beans. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. All right. Rock and roll. All right, I'll try and get it. And I'll be and right back, okay. okay? Kukowski, take five. Okay, 15 seconds, watch the countdown. When he reaches five zero zero, you may begin. Aloha, my name is Michael Allen Kokoski and I'm a candidate for United States Senate on the Libertarian Party ticket. You know, I'm running for Senate to destroy the drug war. That's what I want to do. I want to put an end to that drug war because it locks up millions of people because of what they eat. That is the most absurd thing ever, to lock up people because of what, based upon what they choose to eat, drink, or otherwise consume. You know. I am not here to advocate drug use. I do I'm not advocate the use of alcohol, tobacco, or firearms. I do not advocate the use of drugs. But you know what? I want to destroy the drug law because it is insane. It is destroying our country. It's got our systems of government overwhelmed. And it denies everyone a right to trial by jury. And this is how. The Congress has determined that anyone who eats these certain things are bad people deserving of punishment. 
And when the Congress determines such a thing, they deprive everyone of a jury trial because it prevent, they decide for the jury that these people have a criminal heart. They, deserve, they decide for the jury that these people are deserving of punishment. And when that happens, the jury no longer looks at the matter of why on earth they sold this stuff or made it or whatever. They just look at the act, what they done. Well, you know what? Many of those things are traded in friendship, and that is not a crime. And we cannot continuously lock people up because of what they eat, based upon the, feel uh, the feelings and the thoughts and the findings of the United States Congress. No, we're entitled to a jury trial, that's for sure. If you elect Michael Kokoski to the United States Senate, I will fight the drug war on the floor of the United States Senate. I will not stop until it is destroyed. Now, once we destroy the drug war, we can take a look and see about all these homeless people we have littered on our streets. You know, they have been disenfranchised from government. They have been stigmatized because of the things that they eat. And they don't have a place in society anymore. They don't feel welcome. They've been thrown away and cast out, just like rubbish on the street. The only problem is, or the only difference, is these are people. They're not trash. They're not animals. They're not things. They're human beings, sons of Adam, everyone, and daughters too. We can't lock these people up. We can't just take and cart them off where we want them to go. No, we have to lift them up. That's what Jesus would do. He wouldn't take a sledgehammer and wreck their, their, their shopping cart. He wouldn't load them up into vans and take them and book them and throw them into the penitentiary. No. What he would do is he'd lift them up and welcome them back into society. You put Michael Kokoski in the United States Senate, I'll destroy that drug war. I certainly will. I'll destroy unlawful acts of that Congress, I certainly will, and I'll work with other libertarian candidate, candidates to, to abolish the IRS and do away with that thing. You know, actually, the United States government would probably pull in more money if they abolished that thing, and it would tie up all kinds of cash for private investment and, and business and commerce, it really would. And if you get rid of that drug war and get rid of that IRS, then gee, I think we can all be friends again. We won't have to watch over our back to see if our neighbor's watching us smoke something so that he can call the police and come kick our door in and haul us off to prison because the Congress has determined that people who smoke that should be punished. You know, that is fascism. That is not the America that we love. That is something else. That has got to end. If you vote for Michael Kokoski to the United States Senate, I will represent the people of Hawaii to the best of my ability, and I'll put an end to the drug war, and I'll do something about homelessness. I will welcome these people back into society and give them a voice in government. I absolutely and certainly will. Please vote for Mike. I love you. Aloha. Well, am I getting worse or better? It's hard to say. You couldn't say if you knew anyway. Well, you have the four usable takes, you know. I tell you if it's not usable. You have okay. four usable takes. And, and you, if you started now yeah. to view them, it would take a half an hour. Now, there might be, like, for example, you might just know, some people know, you might just know, like, oh, I don't want to watch take one. So it would take you another half an hour to view all those takes. You guys want to split and get on out of here pretty quick? No, but... Um, I, have I run over on my... No, I don't think so. We came in at two, so... Um, oh, I'll tell you what. Give me one more and I'll leave the drug war alone this time okay. and, and try and just talk about the race. Okay. So in and that, it'll be a different kind of thing. Then we'll have a choice. Okay. So in, in, in that situation, this is going to be the last take. The last take. I, I want to tell you something, though, yes. in the way of viewing it. Okay. Okay. Um, we have all the five takes on uh, burning on a tape. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, but this last take though, because the tape is 33 minutes. Yeah. Uh, and we started a little earlier. Um, if you want to view the last take, you'll have to view that on a DVD. Okay, that'd you be okay fine. You okay with that? I'd be fine. I'd be okay. fine with that. It'd be cool. All right. So we're ready to start. All right. Justin, if we can reset the countdown clock, and if you can give me a, a 30 when you're ready. 
thank you. Okay. And and it, I noticed it. You did when when it started. I, I set up. Do, oh, I slouched I slouched just, down. Just a touch. All right, have, I'm gonna put my hands here then. Don't worry, don't worry about that too much. Um, mm, I want to slouch. And then, uh, Michael. So again, this is the last one. Well, again, we, you already got okay, it. Okay. In the can. Thirty seconds. This is just another version. Okay, it's gonna be the one we use right here. Pukowski, take six. Okay, be right back. Hello, uh, my name is Michael Allen Kokoski, and I'm a candidate for United States Senate. Okay, 15 seconds. Watch the countdown. When it reaches 500, you may begin. Aloha, my name is Michael Allen Kokoski and I'm a candidate for United States Senate on the Libertarian Party ticket. You know, I am running for the United States Senate to destroy the drug law, absolutely and certainly, and I want to help the homeless people here in Hawaii. I would also like to implement a plan called H2O, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and explain some of those things to you right now and give you a little bit of background about my history and my upbringing. You know, I'm a Christian guy, I certainly am. Uh, my mother and I, we were born again and saved together at the same church in the Pentecostal Church of God, Dayton, Ohio. It was actually in Wilmington, Ohio, but that's not too far from Dayton. You know, I have some values in my life. I have some traditional values in my life. I was raised by my great-grandparents and my family, my mother and my father as well, you know, to have Christian traditional values. And I'm here to tell you that it is unlawful for the Congress of the United States to lock all these people up based upon what they eat, drink, or otherwise consume. That is a dietary law. They cannot lock people up, not, they cannot lawfully lock, lock people up based upon what they eat. You know, those are dietary laws. That is an establishment of religion. Dietary laws are certainly an establishment of religion. Also, you know, this is a horrible thing. What it does is it locks all these people up because of what they eat, absolutely and certainly. And then it disenfranchises them from government. It makes it to where they no longer have a voice. They no longer have a vote. They no, no longer have a place in society. You know, it disenfranchises them. It stigmatizes them in the eyes of the public. And it separates them from people that they love. Now when society and when the Congress comes together, and they uh, disenfranchise and kick all these people out of our society, where do they go? What happens to them? Well, they lock millions of them up in prison because they ate that, whatever it was. The other millions of them, you know, they just kind of wander around aimlessly. You know, we call them and refer to these people as homeless people. If you want to help the homeless people in the drug war, when you end the drug war, then we can welcome these people back into society. We can help them to get registered to vote. Let them know that they have a voice in the United States Senate, in the United States Congress, and in the state legislatures as well. Right now, those people are enemies. They have absolutely no voice at all. You know, and that is wrong. We've got to stop doing that. When we welcome these people back into society, they're pick up on that. Human beings are pretty smart. They'll realize that the war is over and that they can go home. And we'll be able to lift these people off the sidewalks of Hawaii and the rest of the country as well and bring them back into the homes where they belong. That would be a real good idea. If you vote for Michael Kokoski for United States Senate, that's exactly what I will do. I will end that drug war and I will fight injustice on the floor of the United States Senate for the people of Hawaii to the best of my ability and to the last breath of air I have in my body. You know, I love you, I really do. In my life, I spent one day in prison for every year of human history. I am a war veteran of the drug war. You know, I've been in the trenches, I've been in the prisons. I've seen this thing firsthand, up close and personal. And I want you to know I am the only candidate qualified to destroy, to, to hold this office. The late Senator da da Daniel uh, Annoy, he was a great World War II hero, a veteran. You know, he fought the Nazis back in the 40s. He was the most loved politician in the state of Hawaii's history. If you put Michael Kokoski in the United States Senate, 
I will fight fascism in the United States government. I will do it in David Inouye's seat, and I will do it on the floor of the United States Senate. And I will not stop until people are free, until government quit punishing people just because of what they eat. They are creating the homelessness that we see in our communities, and it's got to stop. Please vote for Mike. Please vote for Mike and help me <coughs> to overcome this horrible thing. <coughs> Forgive me. Amen. That's all I can do. Okay. I guess 